Well, pardon me, boys. You've no doubt heard about the Chattanooga choo-choo. Well, you know, there's one more choo-choo in that scenic city, high atop Lookout Mountain. Miranda Cohen found one that takes passengers up above the clouds on a trip that's been called America's most amazing mile. It is called America's Most Amazing Mile. All right, please have your tickets ready. Make sure to walk your steps. Since the late 1800s, people have traveled to Lookout Mountain to do just that. Take in the spectacular views of the Tennessee River Valley, some 1,600 feet below. The first cars carried coal and workers, but soon the magnificent views from above became the attraction. The sightseers showed up, and the opulent Lookout Inn Hotel was built as a mountain resort. Well, Chattanooga has always been a tourist town, so them building the hotels, there was more and more people coming to flock to the mountain. They also came to work and to trade, and it became evident that there needed to be a safe, fast, and cost-effective way to get travelers up and down the mountain. That's when the idea of the Incline Railway was born, a convenient and adventurous way to get people from point A to point B. Today, the hotel is gone, and so are the boilers and steam that once powered the two railway cars on this parallel track. But the thrill of ascending and descending the mountain is still thriving. Our cars run about six miles per hour and it goes from an elevation down in the valley of like 600 feet above sea level, and then we get to the top of the mountain, it's like 1,200 feet above sea level. The car, the track is one mile long, and the grade at the steepest point is a 72.7% grade. And our cars are actually built on an 18 degree angle, so that way if you come up the mountain, you're not falling out of your seat. So therefore the cars are built on an angle, so when you're at the bottom, you're kind of reclined in your seats, but when you get to the top, you're sitting level. The story of the Incline Railway director, Matthew Higgins, is just as interesting as the railway itself. You see, Higgins grew up on Lookout Mountain in the shadow of the railway. I was raised right beside the Incline Railway. My parents' house was probably within rock throwing distance of the Incline track. So growing up, we just always, I just always wanted to work there because you could see the maintenance people as they walked down and greasing the track. In fact, Higgins and his friends put pennies on the track in the hopes of getting a smashed souvenir so many times that the conductor paid a visit and offered to fuel his fascination with the railway by offering him a job. My first job was actually the night janitor here. I started out doing cleanup after hours and my dad would come up and pick me up after hours after I got done cleaning. 36 years later, Higgins is the director of the Incline Railway. He calls all the shots, constantly overseeing the boarding, loading, and unloading of the cars, monitoring traffic and the weather. He can also answer any questions the tourists have about Lookout Mountain or the engineering marvel that is the nation's steepest and safest incline railway. The Incline Railway in Chattanooga is called a funicular railway. It even has fun in the name. It is an ancient term meaning pulling a rail car up the hill with a rope. But today, it has done a lot more high tech. These here are our 125 horsepower motors. And then we have a coupler here that goes to a gear. And this here is one of our brakes for this particular side of our equipment. And then we just have different gear reductions here to more or less have the horsepower to be able to move our 12-ton cars up and down the mountain. Power power one's ready to go. Just like the cars themselves, Higgins and his team are in constant motion, ensuring a safe, seamless, and scenic ride for the tourists. On a typical busy day, we can haul anywhere from three to 4,000 people. 
and that's running non-stop from daylight to dark. Oh, it was great. Uh, it was steep at the top, and the views were tremendous from the top. Once at the top of the mountain, there are sweeping observation decks that offer panoramic views. You can tour the engine room or treat yourself to homemade fudge and hand-dipped chocolates. And everything and everyone that goes up must come down. And that is a thrill too. The view through the roof is kind of like, it's an Astrodome roof. Or a lot of people say it's almost like riding in a greenhouse because there's so many windows in the top of the cars, the side of the cars, there's just so many windows and the view is beautiful in the springtime. You can ride the rails, rain or shine, and thanks to the ever-changing color show, you will always see something different. But the one thing guaranteed is a journey like no other. If you've never ridden an incline, it's an experience that you will never, ever forget. We get so many people that are just scared of heights, but once they get on the car, they actually say, this isn't half bad at all, because the view is just breathtaking, so they forget about their fear of heights and say, I can do this. Hey, how'd you like the story? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you enjoyed it, we have a lot more where that came from. Here's one you might like. And please click here to subscribe so you'll know when we premiere new videos. Thanks for watching.